EMG question of the day. Following denervation, most fibrillations originate from dash A, the tendon muscle junction, B, the end plate, C, between the end plate and the tendon muscle junction, D, tendon. In this question, we have listed four possible sites. Option D can be easily eliminated, so we will consider it no further. So let's look at the other option. At the musculotendon junction, the endomysium of each muscle fiber fuses, and in conjunction with the endomysium of other myofibers, perimysium and epimysium forms tendon. In this frame, you can see the demarcation between tendon and muscle. Here, you can see the striation characteristic of striated muscle fibers. Usually, in the mid-belly of the muscle is the end plate zone. Here I have twisted the specimen to bring about the geography we are used to see when looking at muscle biopsy. I did so, so we can better appreciate the end plate zone, demarcated by the green line in this frame. In this frame, you can better see the entry of the axon bundle into the muscle. You can see the bundle of axons branching at multiple places and what looks like a terminal axon indicated by the arrow, which we can appreciate better in this new specimen. I have enclosed the area of the terminal axon and neuromuscular junction to introduce an enlarged specimen corresponding to these structures, so as to be able to appreciate them better. Notice the terminal axon which is split ending in the synaptic heel or presynaptic region of the neuromuscular junction, which is constituted by a rete of thin axon terminal branches with multiple swellings, called synaptic knobs or buttons. They look to me as a cluster of grapes. In this frame, I have introduced a cartoonish representation of the neuromuscular junction. In this new frame, I am representing the muscle fiber with the endomysium, the endomysium corresponding to the gray area surrounding the muscle fiber, going from one end to the other end of the muscle and label its different parts. I have done so to indicate the sites of origin of regular and irregular fibrillation. In this frame, I have added numbers under the C option and a diagram. The numbers are represented in the diagram. The numbers indicate distance from the end plate of a small diaphragmatic muscle fiber of about 10 millimeters in length. EP stands for end plate, T for tendon, R for rib insertion of the diaphragmatic muscle. The number scale corresponds to number of fibers. As you can see, the most frequent site of origin of regular and irregular fibrillations is the end plate. It is worth noticing that this conclusion is based on a study using denervated rat diaphragmatic muscle. So the answer to this question is B. Thank you very much for your attention.